get a package guys you know what this is probably hopefully <laughs> maybe um, this is uh, coming straight from Ace Labs I got I finally got this piece and I will be more than happy to show you what's inside of this box this is probably one of the most expensive pieces of equipment that I own to this day and uh, this is a brand new PC3000 Portable Pro. Let's dive in. So I got this thing fully, fully loaded. Those of you who work with PC3000 probably heard of PC3000 Portable 3. And uh, it's been demonstrated uh, on this channel many, many times. Portable 3 has one limitation that can significantly be improved by using this device. So Portable 3 uses a single PCI Express channel. PC3000 Portable Pro doesn't have that limitation. It has three individual PCI Express channels, plus in addition, you can use a separate USB channel. So you can basically work four devices at the same time. Oh, we got some extras. I didn't get a fancy box with this purchase, but I have my old box that I can use, and this is same dimensions, so the box will fit just fine. Um, first, let's have a look at these adapters. Do we have anything else in the bubble wrap? Nothing. What do we got here? So this right here is a adapter SSD U2. So this is for enterprise level SSDs with the U2 interface. And this here is a brand new thing uh, that's specifically designed for Intel Optane drives. At first glance, it may look like a standard um, PCI Express adapter that comes with PC3000 Portable, but you see it's got this extra connection here. Ooh, candy. Save that for later. So we got some uh, pamphlets, how to get latest software. This is the contract agreement, I guess. License agreement, yeah. So we've got power supply. We've got a cute little notepad with it. Take notes. We've got a European plug, which I can't use, but it's nice to have it. It's, uh, I guess they're hint hinting that I should come to Europe and <laughs> do my work there. Those who know, know. Um, what is this? We got a pen. Oh, this is, I guess this is for the touch screen. Because it's a touch screen now. Yeah. Is it? I hope so. No, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm like a kid in the candy store, for real. I'm not even joking. Got a pen. Sweet. All right, so more adapters. This is just a SATA port. Some sort of connector. Oh, this is how it converts, okay. Well, I think I'm just gonna dump this cable for something that comes in with a single plug. I I don't know if I want to use this adapter here. It's just it's a little extra piece that not, isn't really necessary, but here is the, the, the moment we've all been waiting for. It's heavier. I can tell you that for sure. Right now, it's definitely heavier. I always wanted to do this. I love doing peeling these things off.
there we go all right so at the first glance it kind of does look like the predecessor but you see PCIe SATA PCIe SATA PCIe SATA on the previous one these two will just say SATA and this is a shared channel you can't use both at the same time you have to use either or and uh, that's obviously not so good so uh, if you're working with the USB device and you got a PCI Express device you know it's um, it's gonna be a problem you're gonna have to choose a client that pays you more <laughs> than the end run so you got a um, cable for um, USB-C this is the cable to power on well to connect our unit to the computer then we have some more cables for the SATA devices SATA cables we've got our terminal adapters in this baggie we have next on the list we got uh, the terminal itself they're up to USB terminal 5 so I guess that's what the cable is for USB-C next on the list is a micro SATA adapter for micro SATA drives I don't really get too many of them but they still come in so I'm gonna set that there this guys right here is our PCI Express adapter and since we got three channels for it there is another one so this way we can work three M.2 NVMe SSDs at the same time on one machine how cost productive is this well let me tell you how I see it and the purpose of buying this tool uh, at the price tag that it comes if you have PC 3000 portable 3 you can get the job done but you are just gonna devote the entire capability of working with PCI Express to that one machine and you would be only able to get one case done that case takes three weeks how much money is that one case gonna bring you to hold it up for three weeks some cases will take you that long that's the thing uh, but having options for other ports even for testing like sometimes guys I, I have I have one portable three and sometimes I would run a case for like five days I'm not gonna interrupt it because I don't know if it's gonna come back to life the next time I start it up so when I get something in the mail that needs to be tested I have to wait until it's done unless I buy another portable 3 to have that used for testing so having an option of using either one of these channels for testing when it's free is amazing so that's uh, that, that alone was good enough reason for me one more thing I do recall ordering for A1708 I don't see it here maybe I gotta reach out to the sales department maybe it got confiscated at the border by Apple police <laughs> we'll see anyways I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I get it so for now I'm gonna be working on setting it up Thank you very much for tuning in to watch this episode, guys. I'm extremely happy that I finally got my hands on PC3000 Portable Pro. I know for sure that this thing is going to send me a tremendous amount of time. A uh, number of cases that I've been solving on for weeks using uh, PC3000 Portable 3. I mean, I, I've lost count, but uh, definitely having an option to work with each and single one of these channels to produce this similar type of work 
it's uh, definitely a great advantage. All we do here on this channel is data recovery and everything uh, that relates to it. So if that's your thing, you're in the right place. Thank you for visiting and I'll see you guys in the next episode.